Hey there, Psych2Go fans. Welcome to another video by Psych2Go, made possible only through your love and support. Is there something you want to change about yourself or something you think you should stop doing? It's never easy to let go of what you've learned to be comfortable with, but the act of letting go and starting over can be incredibly powerful. It can positively impact our lives and allow us the freedom to finally pursue the things that emotionally fulfill us because we're no longer weighed down by the obstacles we created for ourselves. With that said, here are 10 things in your life you should let go of. One, unrealistic expectations. While there's certainly nothing wrong with aiming high and believing in yourself, setting goals that are too unrealistic only set you up for failure and disappointment. The more you pressure yourself to succeed and live up to your perfect ideals, the more frustrated you will feel when things don't work out. Success isn't a checklist, and life isn't a race to see who lands the best job, lives in the nicest house, or has the happiest marriage. Stop thinking that you need to have certain things or be in certain places just for you to feel good about yourself. Two, emotional baggage. Letting go of your personal problems is easier said than done, but you can't keep holding on to your emotional baggage forever. Leave all your heartbreaks and emotional hangups where they belong in the past and learn to let go of the resentments you may have been holding on to. It's okay if you're still hurting, as long as you allow yourself the freedom to heal, transform, and grow as you greet the new year. Three, toxic relationships. It's time for you to say goodbye to draining toxic relationships and one-sided friendships. Don't surround yourself with fair weather people. Know that you deserve to be with people who care for you, understand you, accept you, and connect with you. Create healthy boundaries for yourself, and don't be afraid to leave those who have hurt you too much or mistreated you too many times. Four, playing it safe. Are you feeling stagnant in life and looking for a change? Then it's time to step out of your comfort zone and try new things. After all, no one ever achieved anything great by simply following the herd, so why not have a little fun and experiment? Get a change of scenery, adopt a new hobby, and do something you've always wanted to do but never had the courage to do before. Don't be afraid to be more authentic, more outspoken, and more vulnerable. But don't forget to explore responsibility and take calculated risks. Five, perfectionism. Striving for perfection never did you any good, so what do you plan to do differently? Are you asking too much of yourself and constantly obsessing over your flaws and shortcomings? If you're trying to change yourself for the better, and now is the time to forgive yourself for whatever mistakes you made along the way as you push yourself to do better. Embrace the real you, not the perfect you. Six, people pleasing. We all crave the approval and acceptance of the people who matter to us, but worrying too much about what others think will only bring you misery and frustration. Devoting all your time and energy trying to live up to everyone's expectations of you is exhausting because it's impossible for you to please everyone. Do you find yourself trying hard to make everyone happy at the cost of your own inner peace? The truth is, the person whose approval should matter the most to you should be you. 7. Your pride With everything that's happened in your life and where you are now, it's always important to stay grounded and humble. It's time to ask yourself honestly, is your ego getting in the way of your relationships? If the answer is yes, having too much pride can blind you of your own faults and create a wall between you and your loved ones. It can keep you from learning from your mistakes and make it harder for you to see things from another person's point of view. Eight, your need for control. It's good to have a plan and be prepared for what's to come, but you shouldn't underestimate how unpredictable life can get. Sometimes you just need to learn to roll with the punches and make the best of what you have. Let go of the unhealthy need to be in control all the time because it will only lead to anxiety and unnecessary rigidity. Trust that everything will work itself out in the end and enjoy the ride for as long as you can. Nine, unhealthy habits. Do you smoke or drink too much? Have you been overeating or sleeping late? Whatever unhealthy habits you may have, you should love yourself enough to stop giving in to them and letting them destroy you physically, mentally, or emotionally. Why not start exercising, drinking more water, or eating healthier instead? Your mind and body will surely thank you for it as time goes on, even if you might be craving something else right now. And 10, your fear of failure. 
Are you afraid of failure? As the saying goes, fear kills more dreams than failure ever did. Squandering your potential and turning down opportunities just because you're afraid might be preventing you from growth. A lot of people don't want to try their best or give something their all because they think it will hurt too much if it doesn't pan out in the end. But you owe it to yourself to try. Don't settle for a life of always watching from the sidelines, wondering what if. Go after the things you want. You might surprise yourself in the end. And in the end, your life is what you make of it. So make the most out of every moment you have. Let go of the things that no longer serve you and make room in your life for better things to come. Start living your best life today and become the best version of yourself. Is there anything in your life that you feel is holding you back? Does it include any of the points made in this video? If not, you might want to add them to your list. Have these pointers made it easier to know where to begin? Please let us know in the comments below. Also share this video with someone you think might benefit from it. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Psych2Go. Thanks for watching.